Hey there, this is Brittany from Just Be Crafty. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple crochet chunky hat. This tutorial is geared towards beginner crocheters and will use the following skills. Chaining, half double crochet, and whip stitch to sew the hat together, but we'll talk about that at the end. This pattern is written in size small, medium, and large, with small being child size, medium for teens, and large for adults. If you prefer a snugger fit, size down, and or use a smaller crochet hook. For chain amounts, stitch counts, and a list of materials, you'll want to refer back to the pattern, and you can access the pattern in a few different ways. You can view the free web version on my blog, purchase the printable PDF version from my Etsy shop, or I have a brand new option where you can gain instant access to this pattern as well as my entire PDF pattern library all in one place by joining the Just Be Crafty Club. To learn more details about becoming a Just Be Crafty Club member, be sure to click on the link in my description box. I'll have links to all three options below so you can pick whatever works best for you. Before we jump in, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified whenever I post a new tutorial and hit the like button if you find the tutorial helpful. Liking my videos and subscribing is one of the best ways you can help support me and keep fun new patterns and tutorials coming your way. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by grabbing our yarn. I'm using Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick in the color Succulent and a size 10 millimeter hook. I like to pull my yarn from the middle of my skein and that's because when you do it that way, your yarn ball doesn't roll all over the place while you're crocheting. So I'm going to do that now. You might get a bit of a tangled mess like you see here, but it's worth it, trust me. To begin, we're going to start with a slip knot. Grab your yarn and holding the tail, wrap from back to front around your pointer finger twice. Lift the first and innermost loop over and in front of your second loop. Grab that second loop and lift it back over the first and off of your finger. Pull to tighten and you've just made a slip knot. Put the loop on your hook and pull your working yarn to tighten the slip knot on your hook. We're now going to begin our foundation chain. To make a foundation chain, you simply yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw up a loop. Keep repeating this process until you've made a foundation chain the length that your pattern calls for. And remember, the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. For this tutorial, I'm making a size small, so my foundation chain will be 26 chains. You'll want to refer back to the pattern for the foundation chain count for the hat size you are working on. We now have our foundation chain and we're ready to begin row one. To start row one, we'll be working our first stitch into the third chain from our hook. I'll be working into the back bar of my foundation chain, but you can use whatever method you prefer. So if we flip our foundation chain over, you'll see those little bars, and that's where I'll be working into. The entire pattern will be worked in half double crochets. So starting in the third chain from my hook to half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're ready to do our next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, Draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. We're going to continue working a half double crochet into each chain for the rest of the row.
I'm now working into my last chain. This chain was a little tight, so I'm sort of working with my fingers to find that back bar to work into. All right, so row one is now complete and we can turn our work and begin row two. To start row two, we'll chain two. And now we're going to work this row and all remaining rows into the back loops only. If you look at the tops of your stitches, you'll notice that the tops consist of two loops. The loop closest to you is the inner loop and the loop further away from you is the back loop. We'll be working all stitches into that back loop. So once again, we yarn over, we insert our hook into that back loop. So find that back loop, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're ready to go into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. By working all of our stitches into the back loop, we'll create a nice ribbed fabric that will make up our hat. And just to note, we'll be making a rectangle and seaming it together to form our hat. Every row should have the same amount of stitches. So if you find that your rectangle is getting smaller or wider as you crochet your rows, you're likely either adding or missing a stitch somewhere. A good way to combat this is to count your stitches every few rows or so to make sure you're maintaining the same number. I'm finishing up my last few stitches of row two. I've just finished my last stitch, so now I'm ready to turn my work and begin row three. From here on out, we're simply repeating row two. So we'll start with a chain two and we'll work our half double crochets into each stitch into the back loops only across the rows. We're going to keep repeating row two for as many rows as our pattern size instructs. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've completed all your rows. At this point, I finished all of my rows and I'm ready to fasten off and assemble my hat. Leaving a tail that's roughly two and a half to three arms lengths long, you can cut your yarn and pull the tail through your loop. Tighten to secure. We're going to use this long tail to stitch up our hat and cinch the top closed. So I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see. And this is what your fabric should look like. So fold your rectangle in half so that the starting and ending edges are touching. Grab your yarn needle and thread the tail through your needle. Line up your stitches as best you can, and we're now going to whip stitch the edges closed. Working your needle from back to front, insert your needle into each stitch of both layers and whip stitch until you get to the end of the row and the hat is completely stitched closed. So we're ready to go into the next stitch Insert your needle into that stitch through both of those layers. Pull your yarn to tighten. And you wanna make sure that you're tightening your yarn but you're not pulling too tight. You just wanna pull just enough to make it secure. Repeat this process until you reach the other end.
I really like this seaming method and it's virtually invisible once you're all done. I left this on the outside of my hat, but you can definitely turn it inside out if you prefer. At this point, we're ready to cinch the top of the hat closed. We are essentially going to whip stitch around the top of our hat, making about one stitch into the side of each row around our hat. So we're just working our needle from back to front around the hat and going into the side of about each row. If you like, you can pause here and meet back up with me once you've made it all the way around your hat. Once we reach back around to the beginning, we can pull our yarn tail to cinch the top closed. So just gently pull on your yarn tail and you can see your hat begin to form. I want to get that yarn tail out of the way, so I'm going to just go ahead and stuff that into my hat. And now, take your yarn needle and make a few stitches at the top of the hat to stitch that top hole closed. As you do this, you want to make sure you're inserting your needle under your cinched ring you just made. It's sort of hard to explain, but I think you know what I'm talking about. You can feel it with your fingers as you're stitching, and this will just give you a more secure close at the top and so that you're not tugging too hard at individual loops in your stitches. Once you're satisfied with stitching the top of the hat closed, secure with a knot and pull the tail inside the hat and we'll deal with this later when we weave in our ends. Now it's time to make our hat pom-pom. I'm using a three inch pom-pom maker that's part of a set and I'll have that set linked in my description box below if you wanna check it out. So grab your yarn and leaving a few inches for a tail, feed the yarn through the feet of the pom-pom maker and use your fingers to hold the yarn in place. We're going to start wrapping the pom-pom maker with our yarn in even layers until the center of the maker is completely filled in. Okay, so I think this looks just about good. And now I'm ready to snip my yarn. And I want to say that it's imperative that you use super sharp scissors for this. The scissors I'm using today are not, and I will say it makes it a bit more difficult. So, so, so don't say I didn't warn you. On one side, you'll see your long tail. and the other side, you'll see your yarn tightly wrapped around the maker foot. Snip the yarn that's wrapped around that bottom foot and pull the short tail that's facing you so that the entire tail hangs evenly on both sides of the pom-pom like so. Take the two tails and tie them together as tightly as possible. This is what holds your pom-pom together.
I'm just going to snip this extra little piece out of the way. And now we're going to take our scissors and starting at the groove on one side of the maker foot, um, snip yarn following the groove along the top of the pom pom. Pull the pom-pom away from the pom-pom maker and make sure you're holding your tails and fluff it out. You'll see that the pom-pom will need a bit of trimming to get it perfectly round. So make sure that you're holding the tails out of the way and trim your pom-pom as you see fit. You'll use your tails later to attach the pom-pom to your hat. And I will warn you that this makes a bit of a mess. The camera's not picking up on all the tiny little fibers that are getting everywhere, but trust me, they are. I think I'm just about happy with my pom-pom now. I'm just gonna fluff it out and look how cute. Now use your yarn needle to attach the pom-pom to your hat. So grab your yarn needle. I'm just gonna trim that little piece there. Grab your yarn needle. Thread it with one of the tails. And just Pull it through um, somewhere in the top of your hat. Just pull it through and then you're going to repeat that with the second tail. Just make sure you're not going into the exact same little hole that you uh, chose for the first tail. So just pull that tail through to the inside of your hat. So now just turn your hat inside out. And we're going to find those two tails we just pulled through. You might have, you're going to have a few tails in there, so just make sure you find your pom-pom tails. And not to secure. We're now ready to weave in all of our tails. Pick one of your tails and thread your yarn needle. And we're gonna work the needle inconspicuously down through a row of stitches about an inch, or, inch and a half or so down. So find a place you want to insert your needle. And I don't know about that spot, so I think I'm going to move my needle over a little bit. So I'm working my needle about an inch and a half or an inch or so down. And then I'm just going to work back and forth in that same general spot a few times until I feel my end is securely weaved in.
and that one's done. So we're ready to repeat for all remaining tails. Turn your hat right side out. Fluff up your pom-pom. And fold up your bottom edge to make the cuff of your hat. And there you have it, a super cute crochet chunky hat. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would like to, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!